I'm Frank Spencer Nairn. I'm the owner of Kooligren Estate and I'm third generation here. It was my grandfather who bought the estate first in the 1930s. Uh, so we've been here quite a long time. It's obviously been a challenge for me ever since I inherited the estate to try and make the uh, estate as uh, self-sufficient as possible and stand on its feet um, uh, and as viable as possible. And uh, when the opportunity to, came along to invest in um, uh, Mini Hydro, um, I grasped it with both hands. So I've been planning this for uh, the best part of the last five years um, and we we have a burn here behind me called the Nearty Burn. Uh, we got our planning permission and our grid connection about two years ago at the beginning of 2013 and construction started in August uh, 2013 um, and uh, work was complete in September 2014 and we've now been connected to the National Grid since September the 15th uh, of this year. It became apparent that it was, in, it was absolutely vital that we had internet and telephone connections. Um, the, the need for this fell into two parts. Uh, the first part was during the construction phase. Um, we needed, to, in this remote location, to have communications um, to enable the contractors to communicate with the um, consultants and engineers. Um, so that they could send drawings backwards and forwards and it's also a health and safety requirement uh, that there is communication in case of, a, of an accident. So the first phase which spanned uh, a year, um, the satellite communication um, uh, dish was placed on top of the site cabin um, and uh, provided uh, both the internet and telephone link. Once the turbine house, um, which uh, I'm standing in front of, was complete. The satellite dish was moved to the top of the, uh, to the house and uh, is now providing uh, communications, internet communications and a telephone link for the operation phase. My name is John Fitzgerald. I'm the managing director of Internet Anywhere. We are a specialist company supplying satellites for remote locations throughout Scotland and, and the UK. Interestingly enough, when we, when we first got asked to uh, come and survey the uh, job here at Neasy Hydro, um, as you can see it is extremely remote and probably one of the most remote jobs that we have done to date. Um, initially there was no track on the road, that had to get put in, and then we eventually did a site survey and realised that uh, satellite really is the only option to a place uh, like this. More, more importantly, um, for health and safety reasons, we've got a lot of workers here using a lot of machinery and plant and uh, they need to be able to be in touch if uh, anything should uh, go wrong. Once the project actually got completed, we then decamped the satellite equipment from the porter cabins and we then put it onto the power station which you see here. This is enabling the power station to completely operate remotely uh, from Kendall. Satellite is one of the few uh, technologies that A is environmentally friendly can be installed anywhere as long as we've got a good line of sight and uh, just enables people to be able to operate on high-speed broadband using the KA band. The system itself offers 20 meg down, 6 meg upload, which is ample for most people uh, doing uh, whatever applications the, they, they need. In this particular installation, the location of the powerhouse is almost 8 miles off the main road and to get a traditional landline would have required a, a vast amount of money and also uh, digging up eight miles of track to put a cable in. Satellite is working here very successfully with a VoIP telephone and we could also put a camera on if required. It just shows that satellite can do all the things that the traditional fibre and copper can do.